it's Megan Avery from Hip Stitch Academy and I teach all kinds of sewing classes here in my Catskills sewing studio and also on Zoom. You can catch us. We usually have at least one class a week uh, and I make sewing videos. So this video is going to be turning this Boston Red Sox baseball jersey into a keepsake pillow for the couch. We had a little incident um, where there was a little hole in this one. I've repaired it. That's a whole other video. You can check the uh, info below and you can link to that video if you're interested in how I fixed it. There was a little hole in it. Uh, but this video is going to be turning the fixed jersey into a pillow cover that I'm gonna put a little 22 inch insert inside. So let's get started. First take the uh, jersey and turn it inside out. Like I said, we're gonna turn this into a pillow cover for a 22 inch pillow. So you're basically going to be um, using a ruler first straighten out the shirt flatten out the shirt as best you can I mean shirts are meant to be on 3d bodies not flat so this can be a little difficult and you might have a couple little tucks um, like I'm doing right here but that is totally fine um, you can't even tell, really tell on the outside of the pillow but it's just it's gonna be needed to get the fabric flat so I've measured it and the reason I chose a 22 inch pillow is because basically that's the width of the jersey. So I'm just extending the side seams of the shirt up onto the sleeves and making a line that I'm now going to sew directly on that line. And I'm going to sew right over those little pin tucks, sewed right over my pin even. shouldn't do that, but I did. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, you just want to kind of go as far as you need to to get back to that straight line of the side seam of the jersey. So I'm doing that on both sides where I've marked with the ruler and the pen. And do your best to get the pin tucks as small as you can. Um, but sew right over those just like I did. I remember to take the pin out that time. Yeah. Um, okay, so now I'm just cutting off any excess. I'm leaving about a, I don't know, half inch seam allowance up there. And you can see it's not perfectly straight. Don't stress about it. You know, it's not gonna be this super evident thing once you put the pillow insert in. So now I've measured the height to be the same. I want it to be 22 inches. So I'm kind of starting where the V-neck ends and there happens to be a button right there. So I'm gonna unbutton it, snip off that button because you do not want to run that over with your sewing machine. You'll break a needle for sure. Um, so I'm just snipping it off right there. But once that comes off, so just be aware if there's anything in your way like that. Um, I'll stick a pin in there just to secure it. And again, I'm gonna sew straight across this seam. So now I've got three sides of my pillow sewn. All right, finally, I'm just gonna square my pillow off the best that I can, because I do want it to be a 22 inch square. I've got the line, I'm drawing it, marking it, um, as I did with the other three, pinning it along that line. This should be pretty flat. Checking for buttons, there's no button in my way right there, so I can just sew across, I don't have to remove a button. And you are going to sew the full way across because keep in mind the front of this jersey is a button down jersey. So I don't have to create a space to put the pillow insert in. I'm just going to unbutton the jersey and stick the pillow in. So that makes it super simple. All four sides of the pillow can be sewn. Keep the front plackets there of the jersey aligned when you sew over it. And just finish it up your fourth side don't forget to backstitch 
and once again cut off the extra seam allowance you don't want that just you know hanging out inside of your pillow case so I've cut that off and finally just unbutton the buttons from the outside turn the whole thing right side out poke out those corners um, and you have got your pillowcase for the 22 inch insert. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time.